we need more security right in the terminal one right there's, there's no security in the, in the in the terminal here around um six o'clock you know that's why you find a lot of men going outside the terminal to load i agree that um if my call here that a lot of the, the psb vans i believe that we should now um go towards urgently having the dash cameras inside the van you know because if the cameras were not in the van you know it could be worse but you know so it's, it's all the faces of what happened um number three is that i believe the, the, the psv sector the the admin like the, um the pro you know i'm saying to these guys all the time you know that they need to come together and give us on a level where they can come and hear our concerns they're not listening to us they're not even having a meeting with us when last have the public service vehicle operators had a meeting with the board we don't right now we don't know what's going on but my thing is today is that we need to be better equipped to deal with a lot of things going on over here number number three i i really well, number four i would like to reach it to the barbados police service that they need to come together with the psv operators right and give us some tips on how to go about dealing with the issues and security and so forth right yes you know they have been doing a good job in capturing some field but the government mr attorney general you need to do more because all we hear is all lip service and lip service you know but we need to do more to combat and to deal with the crime in Barbados because the crime in Barbados it has gone to a level where it is every single day something is happening in Barbados and we don't know a Barbados like this here it is getting worse and if they don't be careful it ain't going to get our hand back we need to say to the Attorney General and the Prime Minister let's get the wheel turning because it could be me it could be any one of us the young man could have died you know but so we need to do something about it I don't work the hours anymore because when when it's o'clock done, I go home and I can say I can say to the government that it is continue. The minibus men are we here talking this morning. The men is talking about done the work at 5 30, 6 o'clock. Because we are not going to have put ourselves at risk for our families. I have two daughters, I have loved ones, and we are not putting ourselves up there to go there and work after 6 o'clock and then be wrong. It is hard to see that, you know, that, hey, it's going to affect the, 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 the traveling public. And if it happens, we can shut down shop. So we got to get this thing ready. We got to get this thing right. So if we don't get it right, we shut down shop.